what are the complications you develop during the IUI procedure? IUI is a daycare procedure, intra-uterine insemination. Everybody wants to know, doctor, what are the complications of the IUI? As such, complications in IUI is very, very less. One thing is, during the egg production, you may not develop sufficient eggs or you may delay in the progress of the egg development slowly. When it happens, usually when the woman is age old, like you are undergoing IUI at 38, 39, even though we still insist for IVF, some of the patients are not complaints, so they try to do a one or two cycles of an IUI. In that case, when the AMH is very low, say below one, egg development will be slowly happens. That is also one of the slow growth is a, one of these complications. Not a complications, that failure cause. Usually, averagely, we give a injections of 12 to 14, 15 days. But in some women, we may go up to 18 days, 20 days. And in case of polycystic ovaries, they respond slowly in IUI stimulations. So other complications is failure of collections. Husband, on the day of IUI, when the egg is ruptured, suddenly if you tell him that collect the sample, many men around say around 8 to 12 percent of the men not able to give the sample on the day of egg rupture. That time what happens? will be apprehensive, anxiety, all leads into you know depression, unable to collect the sample. So always prior IUI, we must counsel both husband as well as the wife. This is the day your probability of IUI comes. Maybe on 12 to 14 the day, we must make free, cool and calm. He has to come and should not bring any office, you know, headaches or any you know in the household headaches to the clinic and then hamper his collections. So it is very important. That's why as a doctor, proper counseling avoids the complications in IUI. Process related, like some women may develop two or three, five or six eggs. In that case, we must convert from IUI to IVF because many egg development is not at all good for the IUI because very high chances of hyperstimulation and multiple pregnancies and bleeding complications during the pregnancy and sometimes you will lose all the babies at the time of you know three months or five months so always as a doctor our focus should be development of one or two eggs only process related means how you prepare the sample that means once the collection is given to the under technician in the lab the lab should be sterile and the media used should be sterile. It should be kept in the freezer at the time of IA preparation. It should open because if you keep it temperature outside now, there will be no potency of the media and it never increases the motility of the sperms. That's why whichever you do the IUI in the clinic, you must check all these things. It is proper or not. During the preparations, we use always aseptic gloves and it should not contaminate and preparation should be very neat and good. Because if you contaminate na, with the media, some bacteria will added that will go into the uterus, that will cause pelvic inflammatory disease, abscess formations, bleeding, pain comes. That is, you should be avoided. And the process related is, you should clean, the cervix should be clean and neat and the sterile uh, catheter should be used. Always, each time, fresh catheter must be used. That is very important to prevent the complications. And follow up after the IUI, very very important after three weeks ask the woman to call to the clinic or do the urine pregnancy test at home once it is positive ask them to visit immediately then we'll do the blood test confirmation after one week or two weeks we'll do the scanning to confirm the pregnancy in the uterus many times they neglect and they will go away and many times in two to seven percent the ectopic pregnancy happens that means the pregnancy instead of happening in the uterus, it goes in the deposit in the tubes. That is a most complications that can be avoided by early visit to the clinic. So the doctor will be alert and he will decide where is the uterus and what is the condition of the pregnancy and all. So these are the few points to avoid the complications of the IUI. Second part is donor IUI. What does it mean by donor IUI? Few couples, not you know, men are not able to produce the sperms, or there is a zero count, not affordable for IV, uh, IVF, or even after doing the 
you know, Tisa Pisa, there is no sperm cell be there, as a sperm will be there. In that time, we advise, instead of going for an IVF, we can do the donor IUI, where we got a cement bank is there. In the cement bank, it's all segregated, good sperms will be kept there. And donor IUI is useful whenever the husband is nil count or there is any chromosomal defect in the husband with a repeated history of abortions in the couples or there is a some genetic disorders related to the male partner then you can change the uh, semen factors so in that cases we have to use a donor semen it is a simple procedure other than like as a husband owns pumps here also will give the injections and medicine to the wife on the day of egg rupture we got in-house semen bank we prepare the sample according to their matching like height, weight, color of the iris and the blood group. We take the always, they are all good stored samples and that will be taken, we thaw it and put in the uterus. This is called the donor IUI. It is also a simple procedure and cheaper compared to the IVF. Many times during the IUI procedure, we do not find the growth of the lining in a uterine lining many times we tell the patient we show the patient that your eggs are grown egg lining doesn't come then the what the complications happens usually many times once the egg develops in a uterine also should grow that is a dictum but in some women like around 15 20 percent of the women egg grows but lining will be poor it not in the matching phase so in that cases what we do as a doctor at the time of 10th day of your period we see that averagely the follicle size should be below 12 or 13 and the endometrium should be above 6 if it is below 6 we will be alert yes this dieting never comes we have to add on therapy what is add on therapy we supplement the tablets to grow the lining so you have to ask the doctor that everything is correct or not the lining the egg growth if the lining is poor, your doctor will prescribe you tablets to grow the lining. This is one thing because as again we will call you on 12th day, we will watch the lining and the follicle size. That time it should be around 7 mm. If it is below 7 mm, we add on the again a gel ointments or some powders. We increase the blood flow to the uterus. So that is how we increase the lining. Why the lining is important in IUI? Because once the egg grows, it meets the sperm, form an embryo in the tube, it has to come to the uterus. That time it is the receiving end, the lining should be above minimum 8 mm, 7 to 8 mm above that. Because if the lining is poor, the embryo comes, it does not attach us, it goes into the outside body. It causes negative results. That is why endometrium lining is very, very important in any procedure of the conceptions. So, it should match with the egg growth, same time lining growth. Many women sometimes develop the egg lining very well, but in some women, like any history of tuberculosis in the past, like chest tuberculosis or brain tuberculosis or abdominal tuberculosis or history of lymph node tuberculosis in the childhood, that causes poor lining growth. So, in that cases, we have to take the endometrium lining and test for the tuberculosis in the uterus. If it is positive, then we have to give the tablets for 6 months to 9 months. After that, we have to go for the treatment for the any other related procedures. Poor lining is a, one of the most commonly asked question. How to tackle and this is how we have to give the tablets, injections, gel and sometimes tablets we have to keep vaginal insertion. This will all increase the motility and yoga and meditation all this will increase the blood flow to the uterus so that lining will be much better and better and better. Mm -hmm.